Basic Greek Searches. This podcast requires a working knowledge of Greek, but no knowledge of Accordance Bible software. If you put the time in to learn Greek, Accordance is the Bible software for you. We have a host of Greek texts and resources and an amazing set of search tools. This podcast covers the four basic kinds of Greek searches, modifying those searches with search commands and search symbols, and how to type in Greek. Accordance offers a host of Greek New Testaments, both eclectic and manuscripts and single text traditions. All of these texts are fully morphologically tagged and searchable, and the ones with asterisks include a critical apparatus. We also have a wide array of other tagged Greek texts, Septuagints, Dead Sea Scrolls, Apocryphal and Pseudepigraphic, and much more. Again, these are all fully tagged and searchable. And speaking of searching, Let's take a look at the different kinds of Greek searches. Basic Greek Searches Accordance offers four basic types of Greek searches. Conveniently, we can see them all by right-clicking any word in a tagged Greek text and choosing Search For. Here they are in order, Lexeme, Inflected, Root, and Tag. Let's take a look at each of them in turn. The Lexeme search has no particular symbol since it's the default search for accordance. It looks for the dictionary form of the verb, noun, or other kind of word, and it searches for all forms, all conjugations, all declensions that are derived from it. The inflected search, which is indicated by quote marks around the word, searches for this exact string of Greek letters. It ignores breathing marks, accents, capitalization, punctuation, and final forms. The root search is indicated by a plus sign before the word. It looks for the base form of the word, usually a verb, and it searches for all words using this root. That includes compound words which use this root. The grammatical tag search is indicated by square brackets around the grammatical tag. It looks for the morphological tag of the word, and it searches for words with this exact morphological tag. It ignores syntax tagging, by the way. It's often used with lexeme searches, where you have the lexeme followed by the at sign, a space, and then the square brackets with a grammatical tag. The at sign requires each of the search criteria to apply to the same word. In this case, only this lexeme that also matches the following grammatical tag. Accordance also offers an important search option for two of these searches. Adding an equal sign before the word looks for the exact form of the lexeme or inflected form. It requires accordance to match any breathing marks, accents, capitalization, punctuation, or final forms. Let's take a look at those four basic Greek searches and see what they look like in real time. We're going to do it with a genito in John chapter 1 verse 3. Did a root search. Now we're going to go to analysis. You can see here that we have 962 hits with 199 different forms. Turn off the recycling. We'll go back to the first tab and run our second search. Lexeme. Once again, we'll go to an analysis. Oh, forgot to turn it off. Now you can see 669 words, 86 forms. All right. Now for the next form. Yep. You guessed it, inflected. Once again, we'll turn off the recycling and run analysis. We can see we're down to just 202 hits with two different forms. Last but not least, I'm going to duplicate that tab and just insert an equal sign in front of a genito. That'll give me just a genito with the uh, small epsilon. We run analysis. You can see we're down to one form and 170 hits. Now, as long as we're here, let's go ahead and run a grammatical tag search. Remember, when we return to this pane and we run that search, it's going to find that tag irrespective of what lexeme it's attached to. There's the search. We'll open the analysis like so. And let's go ahead and zoom in on that pane So we can see all the different words, 453 total words in the Greek New Testament found in this exact conjugation.
One of the issues that often occurs in accordance is that people will search for an inflected form of a word when what they really want to do is to search for a particular lexeme in a specific grammatical tag. Let me take this opportunity to show you the difference. We use a common word, which is ho. In this case, we'll search first for the inflected form, like so, and when we open analysis, you'll notice that that particular form belongs to two different words, the definite article and the relative pronoun. Now that's fine if we want both of them, but take a look at what happens when we search just for this particular lexeme. Notice all the different forms? Now if we only want the form ho of this lexeme, I'll eliminate the equals, and what we'll do is add a grammatical tag. Select article, and then masculine, singular, and nominative. Go ahead and run that. And let's take a look at the analysis for that. Now you can see we're down to just the definite article in that particular uh, conjugation. Now where this is really important is not in Greek, where there are fewer homographs, but in Hebrew where the difference between these two techniques yields very, very different results. If we're going to learn it, we might as well learn to do it correctly. Let's look at our results using a graphic. The root search for Ginomai yielded 962 hits and 199 forms, while the Lexeme search found 669 hits and 86 forms. The inflected search for Geneto found 202 hits in two forms, and finally, the exact inflected search for a Geneto without the capital letter occurs just 170 times using just this single form. Greek searches can also take advantage of the various search symbols. Any of these can be typed or entered directly from the menu. Let's take a look at just two of them, the wildcard and the character wildcard. Just for fun, Let's search some texts that are outside the biblical corpus. Let's say, oh, how about Philo? In this case, we're going to do a wildcard search. We're going to use the asterisk to represent any number of letters, and we're going to search for every form of every verb that ends with me. Here we go. And we can see from the analysis that there are an incredible number of these verbs in Philo. As a matter of fact, how about 238 different forms and over 13,000 different words? Now, the next thing we'll do is to use the adverb Anna and see how many words begin with Anna, no matter how many letters follow the last alpha. And there we are, 255 different forms. We'll do one more thing before we quit. I don't know if you realize it or not, but there are actually some Dead Sea Scrolls that are in Greek. In this case, let's search for every word that begins and ends with an alpha, with only one letter in between. And here we have it, Ara and Anna. These are just some of the ways that we can use the character wildcard and the wildcard in our Greek searches. We can also use Accordance's seven different connecting commands in our Greek searches. They allow for considerably more precision, whether we're searching for roots, lexemes, or inflected forms. The AND command finds every verse that has both of these words, while the OR command finds every verse that has either one of these two words, and includes the verses that have both words. The NOT command finds every verse that has the first word, but not the second word, while the XOR command finds every verse that has either the first word or the second word, but excludes the verses that have both words. Followed by finds every verse that has both of the words in this exact order, no matter how many intervening words there are. Preceded by does the opposite. It finds every verse that has both words in the opposite of this order, again, no matter how many intervening words there are. Finally, within, finds every verse that has both of these words where the words are separated by no more than the whole number with which we replace the question mark. Typing in Greek. If we don't start our searches from a word in the text, we're going to have to at least learn a bit about typing in Greek. 
Switching to words in the search entry box of any Greek text automatically switches its font to Greek. So most of us just use the standard English keyboard and the placement of most of the Greek letters on it is pretty intuitive. However, we can also switch to an international Greek keyboard if we're more comfortable with that method. Typing just the first letter or two shows the relevant choices in quick entry, and the choices change if we type the plus symbol for a root search or the quote marks for an inflected search. We can use the arrow keys to navigate to the word that we want, then click or tab to enter the word. That's handy if there's additional criteria we want to add to the search. Alternately, we can just hit return or enter to enter and search in a single step. If you're going to do a lot of typing in Greek like I do, it's probably worthwhile to download and print Accordance's keyboard maps and overstrike tables. They're all in a single file called Accordance Fonts on this documentation page. If that's too much trouble, or you're just not going to type a lot of Greek, Consider using Accordance's built-in help, which is accessed via the window menu. It's called Characters. We can switch to any of the Accordance fonts using this menu, and even detach the palette and leave it on our desktop using this button. Hovering over any character shows its name and keyboard position in the lower left corner, which is a great way to find the location of that obscure character. Clicking on it types the character in the search entry box, or any other active text entry area. I trust this quick overview of basic Greek searches will enable you to get the most out of your resources in accordance. We'll cover more advanced Greek searches, including phrase searches, in a future podcast. Meanwhile, know that we take a great deal of satisfaction in offering our customers the very best in Greek texts and resources. It's been a priority of ours for over 20 years. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.